Hi guys, Lots gone here today and welcome to Airline Tycoon. We're going to start a campaign on this. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the game. This game was released in the late 90s, same sort of era as Rollercoaster Tycoon. Um, this deluxe edition was actually released in 2009. This game is a wonderful game to play. I'll, I'll show you, talk you through it. It's got a, a very unique sort of style of play that other games have adapted to later on in the future. There's also a lot of planes going on the screen at the moment. So let's jump right in to a campaign game here. We're going to stick to the Airline Tycoon, the classic campaign, and we're going to go for a new job. So we are going to pick... I always sort of went for... I'm going to go for uh, Siggy Solis. I'm going to call him a lot scon instead. And we can't actually change the name, so forget that. This is going to be... Well, I just think of a name. Uh... Go for Jeff again. Go for Jeff. Jeff, um... Jeff Billington. And we're actually going to be... Phoenix Travel. Because... I sort of have this thing with, uh... Phoenix for some reason. When I played sort of a football manager game, I, um... I actually made my club Phoenix... Or Coventry Phoenix. So... I sort of stuck to that and... You know, I, I have a sort of feeling with Phoenix. I like the logo, so we're going to stick with Phoenix Airlines. Red is also closer to the channel colour than green, so we'll go for that. Okay, so hello and welcome to Airline Tycoon, Spellbound's latest programme. That is the developers. Spellbound are the developers of the game. Uh, my name is Belinda, your assistant. I'll show you around a bit so that you can feel at home in your new job. Uh, there you are on the way to your morning conference. The other three competitors, by the way, are there as well. So, yeah, this is the uh, layout. We have uh, the time down here, your money, the logo, and this is the... That's our office there. That's the office of the uh, airport manager, which we now have a meeting with. So, this is the airport manager. Don't go getting into trouble with Mr. Urig. And the conference is now the beginning. Ah, so you're the new tycoons. Interesting. I would like to make one thing completely clear. I will not tolerate anything which upsets my airport, so mind what you're doing. Since you all received public funding to start up your airlines, I will monitor you closely for the next few days. For a start, I expect you to execute a few order flights. I'm curious to see who will be first to carry out 10 orders. Good. Well, you can go now. We'll meet again tomorrow morning at the latest. Okay, so... As you see, we've just had the meeting there. I, the text didn't actually show up, so I am going to, in editing process, um, edit the sounds so you can hear his voice when he speaks instead of actually seeing the text that comes up on the screen. So please click on the globe because you have to compile the flight plan together. So this is sort of the main hub where you um, actually organize where your flights will be, where they'll go to, and make sure you have enough planes to go to different places and schedule them to make sure you can fit everyone in. At the beginning, you will take orders from the travel companies and carry out flights for them. Later on, you can open up your own routes. So here we go. Here's our list of planes that we currently have. And both of them are in our London airport. We're going to select the Urfa. And we're going to click on the flight plan. We're going to go from London to Moscow because that is a, a bit more money. So as you can see, we have to line that up. And if we go to put London to Barcelona here, we actually have the uh, time to get back from Moscow to actually get that going. So I took the liberty of moving it to an optimal time. Go outside and we'll watch the passengers. Please click on the right border of the screen and then on the door, or you can press the right button twice. So I'm going to chuck that Barcelona flight in there as well, just to make sure we have that as well. Um, just check if we have a penalty on that. Nope. 
so that'll be fine. Just check our mail as well. Welcome to Airline Tycoon. In close, you will find the brochure How to Build a Successful Airline. So again, just another sort of thing from the developers there for the tutorial stage. So we'll, we'll walk to the entrance of the airport. Which I'm guessing is down here. Come on, run. Here he goes. So, as you can see, this is our gate. And we have a flight going from London to Moscow at 12 o'clock midday. And there's our first passenger. Follow him as soon as he starts walking. It's a bit... <laughs> I mean, we don't have to do this, I know how to play the game, but it sort of teaches you how to do this anyway as the um, start of the tutorial. But I will show you just to sort of introduce you to the game. So here we have three more people actually joining our flight. Uh, we're just going to speed up and go down here to where they will actually get into airport security. And then here is our actual gate here where the passengers will wait and then get onto the plane and board right there. This is the... Uh, I think it's the mechanics area for the airplanes and later on if we do actually become successful we get the chance to build our own airplanes which is quite exciting so we're still waiting for this guy to hurry up I'm trying to see if we can speed the game up at any point uh, there we go yes we can speed the game up finally uh, we'll do that from now on because I'm fed up of watching him so, first passengers entered the waiting room. Here your passengers will wait for the plane. Click on the time until the plane arrives. So we've clicked on the time until the plane arrives and we seem to be running somewhere right now. Not entirely sure where. Uh, this game may have some uh, slight performance issues as well as it is not meant to run on uh, Windows 10 which I currently have so okay we've just run to the other side of the airport which is not really what we had planned um, see if we can get any last minute flights here actually we have a Barcelona to London which would be perfect so we'll buy that one Uh, none of these really sort of fit the the thing that we need. So if we go to the air travel section as well, see if we can buy some more flights there. Oh, in fact, people are boarding our plane, so let's go and have a look at that. As you can see, our plane is in the background. The people have just boarded the plane. And come 12 o'clock, the plane will actually leave. And there we go, we're taking off. So we are going to go back to the air travel and see if we can actually get any extra flights to schedule for our airline. There we go, so... London to London to Kiev with a premium of 108 on Friday. Yes, we'll take that. We will take London to Copenhagen on the Thursday. I'm not sure if we actually have a 180 passenger plane right now, so we'll have to look into that to be able to take these flights if we do. Um, London to Madrid, we can do that as well. 
and we could probably go from Madrid to Barcelona and back to London. That's, that should be a short time distance. So if we go back up to our office right now. And we are going to put in the Thursday flight of London to... Uh, sorry, where is the last minute... Barcelona flight that we had on Wednesday. Oh. Oh, that's even longer. We, uh, oh. Made a mistake there, didn't we? We didn't check the time, time of that before we actually started. Right, so we're going to go for London to Kiev there. London to Madrid and Barcelona to London. So we, we will actually go and look at our planes, the Cassel can hold. Not entirely sure, you know. So this is where we can actually improve the inside of our plane as well, which we probably won't do right now. Because there's no need to. I mean, we do have a lot of money. It is our first job. Uh, we're going to have a look at the phone. We're going to call... Let's call our competitors. Sunshine Airways. Hello. Hello. Phoenix Travel here. Yes, what's up? This is a bit of an issue actually, we can't see the options on the screen. Okay, we'll have to look into uh, fixing that. Let's have a look at the graphics that we've got set here. We turn thoughts off and on again, and... Text bubbles off and on. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that, but um, we'll have to look at doing something later on about that. We'll fix that for the next episode. So this is sort of our marketing office. Mr. Hagedorn? Hi, boss. What can I do for you? But again, we can't actually select anything right now, so... We're just going to try and arrange some flights this episode. Get ourselves off the ground, go in. So we have all of those set up right now. I don't know if we can look at the planes that we currently have. But yes we can. Um, I have a feeling that we do have a 180 airplane. I'm going to take the risk. Ooh. I'm going to take London to Vienna and Vienna to London. I put that sort of end of day, start of day. Pardon me. I am then going to go for... London to Tunisia. London to Rome. We'll just get all of these for now. Um, and I've got a feeling that the Air Force actually is the plane with 180 that we need. So if we have a look, we have the Cassel can't actually do some of these flights. Yeah, that is true. Um, right. So 
So that's only 90 passengers. That's 90 passengers. So anything with 180 passengers, like this Barcelona to London that we're going to chuck. Damn it. Okay, so we've lost that one. That's gone. We can, however, put London to Tunisia on here. And if we do have a Vienna to L we do have a Vienna to London flight, don't we? A London to Vienna flight. Yes, so we could fit that directly in. But it goes on the Friday. Oh. So if we put London to Vienna there, Vienna to London there, London to Madrid, Madrid to Barcelona. We've got a nice sort of schedule going on there. Um, London to Rome can fit that directly into there. We might as well go London to Barcelona here as well. Because, why not? And then we'll get the Cassel plane. Uh, going from Amsterdam to London and London to Atlantis. Just go and check the last minute travels actually closed. Okay, so we'll go to. We'll go to the next day. So we've got a small briefing in the morning, which we can't actually see right now. Good morning. Let's begin the meeting. My information tells me you have carried out the following number of orders. Again, means nothing to us right now. <laughs> We're going to fix this for the next episode. Until now, Phoenix Travel is leading. Now for the details. Let's start with Sunshine Airlines. Everything's normal. Normal means average. You can do better than that, can't you? Your planes are in very good condition. That's the way I like it. Your flight personnel are average. Okay, next... I sort of love the uh, voice acting here where <laughs> they announce the airline and it just sort of it shouts out the name in a different voice. It's, it's a little bit amusing, the uh, voice acting on this. You're an example to us all. And now, Phoenix Travel. We are actually just going to skip through this because... We can't see anything that's going on on the screen. Uh, we can also press the O key to go to our office quickly, which I didn't know. Which which will save us a bit of time. We have a message as well. Uh, order revocation. You lost the charter flight from Barcelona, therefore you have to pay a contract penalty of 20,000. Yeah. It was bad that was. We shouldn't have really took that contract because we didn't really know what we were doing but it happens so we're gonna press the T key to travel to the travel counter because I don't want her getting all our flights there we go she's left now and we can buy some more flights We're going to buy all of these because why the hell not? We have enough planes, we have enough time, we can fit them in, we're good at scheduling. Maybe we're not. Ew. So London to Kiev doesn't need to happen. Berlin to London does. What's the problem there? Okay. So we can go there. We can go directly from London to Tunisia. And... London to Athens. Problem there. Oh, that Berlin to... Right, we've messed this up a little bit now, haven't we? Um... C 
trap. Yeah, so that, that does fit there. That will fit there. That will fit there perfectly. It lines up. That couldn't get any better. Uh, that's a 1990. We have a Sunday. Moscow to London. Which perfectly rolls over. We can then fit a London to Ankara in. And I wonder where Frankfurt is from there. We'll leave it there for now. And we'll get our 90 playing. We'll go from... Berlin to there, and then London to... Oh, that did not work as planned. That also doesn't work as planned. So what's a long flight to get to? If we go from there first, because that's sort of the longest, we can go London to Atlantis. And there's not a free gate here because we already have a flight overlapping, I am assuming. It's a bit of an issue, that. I don't know how we could improve that. And we'll have a Cairo to London, and we'll sort of chuck that in there as well, because we've got... I think that should be all the flights down then. Yeah, we've got, we've got a pretty busy schedule lined up. So as you can see, this game is mainly all about scheduling and... London to Vienna seems to have a gate, but something else is going to fly at that exact time, which means there's not a free gate. But if we move it to there and leave a sort of gap in the middle... We do now have a free gate. So, that's, so as you can see, the, the scheduling is very important in this game, and the more planes you get and the more flights you tr um, bring in, the more routes you take, the more you'll have to organise the scheduling. You can also buy more gates later on, I think. And we need, we'll need to hire some of these people just to find out what is happening. So as you can see, this is the use of the gates as well. So we can just double check that over. I don't think there's anything else we can do for now. We're pretty packed out until Sunday on this plane. And up until Saturday on this plane, we don't really want any last minute jobs right now because they're sort of what you take when you can check your diary that you walk around with that you have to buy from the duty free shop, which we will probably look at doing next episode if we have the chance for that. So I am going to leave it there today, guys. This has been Airline Tycoon. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe, comment or leave a like down below. And until next time, thank you for watching.